Hello everyone. I welcome you all in the second lecture on topic clocks. If you remember, in the last lecture, I introduced concept one in front of you, using which one can find out the angle between the two hands. And now it's time to get introduced with one more concept, that is concept two, which will be the only concept required for solving the next three types of problems. Let us start. Now, before I start with anything, there is something important which I want you to realize. As far as the concepts are concerned, there are only two concepts. Concept one, which I had discussed in the first lecture. And there is another concept, concept two, which I'm going to introduce in today's session. Let us understand the utility of the two concepts. Concept one is only going to be used in solving type one problem, while concept two will be used in solving questions based on type two, type three, and type four. So that is one thing which I uh, wanted you to understand. Now, it does not mean that the, uh, this chapter has only four types of problem. There are other types also, but as far as the concepts are concerned, there are only two concepts which I'm going to discuss with you. And I think now we can start the session. So let us start with the second concept where we are going to talk about movement made by the two hands in terms of minutes. So if you remember, in the last lecture, we talked about the movement made by the same two hands, but in terms of degree. Here, we'll talk about movements in terms of minutes. So that's the only change. Now to understand this, let's start with an easy example. Let's say it's three o'clock. You would say, sir, at three o'clock, the hour hand would be at this position, while the minute hand would be at 12. Now if I ask you, what will be the position of two hands? Okay, let's do one thing. Let's first talk about minute hand. What will be the position of minute hand after one hour? You would say, sir, after one hour, the minute hand will come back to its original position. And while doing so, if I ask you, what is the total distance covered by minute hand? You would say, sir, in one hour, the total distance covered by minute hand in terms of minutes is 60. Likewise, if I ask you to calculate the distance covered by hour hand, in the same time duration. In what time duration? In one hour. You would say, sir, after one hour, this hour hand would be pointing at this position. It would be pointing at four. So can you tell me what is this distance? You would say, sir, it's a one gap distance. And the value of one gap in terms of minutes is five. So in one hour, can I say, that our hand only moves by five minutes since the speed of our hand is slow. So obviously it will cover less distance, isn't it? Now I want you to find out the difference between the distance covered by minute hand and our hand. So when you calculate the difference, you would say, sir, minute hand has covered 55 minutes extra distance. Ek ghante mein minute hand ne kitna cover kiya? You would say 60 minutes. Or same ek ghante mein our hand kitna cover kar rahe? Only five minutes. So when you find the difference, difference is 55 minutes. So can I write down this thing as that minute hand has covered 55 minutes extra over our hand in how much time? You would say, sir, in one hour of time. The same thing can be represented in terms of minutes as well. That 55 minutes are gained by minute hand over our hand in 60 minutes. Yes and no. You would say, why not? And now let us try to find out how much time would be taken by minute hand over our hand if we want to just gain one minute. So if we minute hand to gain one minute, gain karna hai, to kitna time lagega? Let's use unitary method. You would say 60 upon 55. And when you simplify, this is same as writing 12 by 11. If you look at this fraction 12 by 11, this 12 by 11 is an improper fraction. Why improper? Because yaha pe numerator ka value is more than denominator. Or ek improper fraction ko, agar main simplify karunga, to wo kisme convert hoga? Mixed fraction form mein. So can I write down this thing as 1 plus 1 by 11? You would say why not? 11 into 1, 11. And then plus 1, 12 by 11. So it is concept number 2 for us. If minute hand wants to gain 1 minute over our hand, it will take 1 plus 1 by 11 minutes. Right? Now guys, if some of you are confused, sir, what is the logic behind 1 plus 1 by 11? What is the logic behind 1 plus 1 by 11? So let me tell you something very interesting here. Mujhe ek baat batana. Agar minute hand ko ek minute cover karna hota, to ek minute cover karne ke liye, it would have taken only one minute. Lekin yaha pe bas ek minute cover nahi karna hai. Yaha pe ek minute jada distance travel karna hai. Jada kis se? Our hand se. So samaj na. Jitni der mein minute hand ne ek minute distance travel kiya hoga, same time mein, 
आर हैंड ने कुछ तो मूवमेंट किया होगा ना तो उसी मूवमेंट को कॉम्पनसेट करने के लिए मिनट हैंड कितना एक्स्ट्रा टाइम लेता है वन बाई इलेवन और इसीलिए अगर एक मिनट का गेन लेना है मिनट हैंड ने तो ये एक मिनट में नहीं होगा ये होगा वन प्लस वन बाई इलेवन मिनट में सो आई होप विद दिस यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक बिहाइंड कॉन्सेप्ट टू एंड नाउ इट्स टाइम टू सी दिकेशन ऑफ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद टाइप टू नाउ So if you remember, in type one we discussed problems where the objective was to find out angle between the two hands, minute hand and hour hand. In type two problem, we are going to look at problems which are based on a condition, overlapping condition. We'll understand what this is all about. But before that, let's read the question. At what time between three and four o'clock will the hands of a clock be together? Now, in order to find out the time, I need to first understand the condition of overlapping. I want the two hands of the clock pointing in the same direction. Being together means they should point in the same direction. Let's say our hand is pointing in this particular direction. So minute hand should also point in the same direction. And when this will happen, if I ask you what is the value of angle, what will be the angle between the two hands? You would say, sir, angle is zero degree. So whenever you read a condition which says overlapping, it means I'm looking for an angle of zero degree. Or the same thing can be presented that the hands of the clock should be together. This should be coinciding. And in all the three cases, you would say, okay, sir, it means we are looking for an angle zero degree. Okay, so this is the condition which I want to satisfy. So some of you must be thinking, so what are the steps? So the first step, something which we have learned in type one problem also, the first step is going to be pick a reference time. What time to pick as your reference time? Since I want to find out the time between these two. Three and four. So I'll start from three o'clock. So for three o'clock, if I ask you, what are the position of hour hand and minute hand? This is how the two hands would be pointing. Now, what is step number two? In step number two, I'm going to satisfy the condition. Whatever is the condition, try to satisfy. And again, I'll do the same assumption. What assumption? That hour hand is not moving. If this is true. If our hand is not moving, in order to satisfy the condition, what condition? The angle between the two hands should be zero degree. Tell me one thing. अगर our hand move नहीं करेगा, तो क्या मैं इसको reference बना के minute hand का position draw कर सकता हूँ? You would say why not? मुझे angle कितना देखना है? Zero degree. So in order to create an angle of zero degree, अभी जो minute hand यहाँ पे point कर रहा है, it should point at this position. और ऐसा करने के लिए मैं क्या करूंगा मैं मिनट हैंड को यहां पे ड्रॉ कर दूंगा नो आफ्टर डूइंग दिस द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू रियलाइज दी गेन टाइम दैट वुड बी आर फाइनल स्टेप सो वट एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू अगर मैं मिनट हैंड का इनिशियल पोजीशन देखता हूं तो मिनट हैंड का इनिशियल पोजीशन ये था और कंडीशन को सेटिस्फाई करने के लिए मैंने मिनट हैंड को यहां से यहां मूव कराया तो जब मैंने ये मूवमेंट किया तो मैंने मिनट हैंड को कितना मूव कराया दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट यू टू कैलकुलेट तुम बोलोगे सर फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व टू थ्री द टोटल नंबर ऑफ गैप्स आर थ्री एंड दिस इज द गुड पार्ट अबाउट ट्वेल्व मैं जिस भी नंबर को ट्वेल्व से कंपेयर करता हूं उतने ही गैप्स आएंगे सो इफ आई कंपेयर सिक्स विथ ट्वेल्व तो मेरे नंबर ऑफ गैप्स कितने आएंगे सिक्स लाइक वाइज इफ आई कंपेयर एट विथ ट्वेल्व तो मेरे नंबर ऑफ गैप्स कितने आएंगे अगेन द सेम नंबर एट ओके तो अगर मैं थ्री को 12 से कंपेयर करूंगा टू फाइंड आउट नंबर ऑफ गैप्स यू वुड से सर द नंबर ऑफ गैप्स आर थ्री और वन गैप का वैल्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ मिनट्स कितना होता है फाइव मिनट्स द वैल्यू ऑफ थ्री गैप्स वुड बी फिफ्टीन मिनट्स तो अगर मैं तुमसे पूछूंगा कि कितना गेन करना है यू वुड से सर मिनट हैंड हैज टू गेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स इन ऑर्डर टू मेक एन एंगल ऑफ जीरो डिग्री मिनट हैंड हैज टू गेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स And this is the most crucial part. अब समझ जाओ ध्यान से एक मिनट गेन करने के लिए सी है अगर एक मिनट का गेन करना है तो कितना टाइम लगता है वन प्लस वन बाई इलेवन सो लेट मी राइट डाउन दिस थिंग फॉर यू टू गेन वन मिनट मिनट हैंड टेक्स वन प्लस वन बाई इलेवन लेकिन अब सेम मिनट हैंड ने कितना गेन करना है फिफ्टीन मिनट्स सो टू मेक अ गेन ऑफ फिफ्टीन मिनट्स It will take just multiply this with one plus one by eleven, so you would get fifteen plus fifteen by eleven minutes as your answer. But can it be my final answer of the question? The answer is no. 
You know why? Because if you look at this expression carefully, in this expression we have two terms, 15 and 15 by 11. अगर तुम 15 by 11 को देखते हो, तो 15 by 11 एक कैसा fraction है? You would say sir, it's a improper fraction. ठीक है? और इसीलिए इसको हम further simplify करेंगे. Improper fraction होता क्या है? जहाँ पे numerator का value is greater than denominator, ऐसे fractions को improper fraction बोला जाता है. तो देखो, 15 first term तो ठीक है. Second term को further simplify करने के लिए मैं क्या करूँगा? इसको mixed fraction form में लिखूँगा. 11 times 1, 11. Remainder, 4. And now to write down my final answer, what I'll do? I'll add the whole part first. 15 and 1. 16. So, 16 whole, 4 by 11 minutes. So, this is the position. At this time, the angle between the two hands would be 0 degree. So, this position is 3 and 4 in the beach. When the angle ka value is 0 degree. Hoga. So, what will be the final answer? 16, 4 by 11 minutes passed since we have started from 3 o'clock. So, you would write 3 o'clock. So, at this time, the angle between the two hands would be 0 degree. The two hands will be together. I hope you were able to follow the approach. If not, don't worry. I will solve one more question with you. But here, what I have done, I have written the three steps. Now, all you need to do is, you have to answer these three questions and you would be able to answer your question very easily. So, let us read the question once. At what time between 9 and 10 o'clock will the hands of the clock be together? Again, the condition is same. I want to look the angle between the two hands as 0 degree. So, I have understood the condition. And the time between which I want to see the angle as 0, it's 9 and 10. So, when it comes to first step where I have to pick a reference time, so please remember, jab bhi mere paas ek range aayegi, to hamesha hum pehle wale time ko hi reference time pick karenge. So, what time I am going to pick? 9 o'clock. So, at 9 o'clock, try to locate the position of two hands. Read the second condition now. Satisfy the condition while assuming our hand is stationary. Now, guys, if our hand is stationary, it means it will not move anywhere. To satisfy the condition, what condition? That the angle between the two hands should be zero. So, keeping this as your reference because our hand will not move anywhere. So, kya tum minute hand ka position bataoge? Tum bologe, sir, minute hand ko bhi same direction pe hi point karna chahiye. Then only the condition will be followed. Zero degree angle tabhi hoga. Aur jab minute hand aisa karega, so now comes the third step. Realize the gain to be made by minute hand over hour hand. Kitna gain karna hai minute hand ne? So, see, what is the change? The initial position of minute hand was at 12 and to satisfy the condition, it should come at 9. So, ये total gain कितने का है? Now, to calculate this, you'll use the same thing. If you compare 9 with respect to 12, how many gaps? 9 gaps and that is the best part about 12. Remember? Okay. So, the total number of gaps are 9. Value of 1 gap is 5. 5 minutes. So, value of 9 gaps would be what? 45 minutes. So, what is the gain time? You would say, sir, gain time is 45 minutes. It means minute hand has to gain 45 minutes over hour hand in order to make angle 0 degree. And now let's use concept number 2. 1 minute gain is achieved in 1 plus 1 by 11 minutes. To gain 45 minutes, 45 plus 45 by 11. Now again if you look at the second term here, the second term is an improper form. And therefore, I am going to simplify it further. So, 45 first term as it is, 11 times 4, 44 and a remainder of 1. So, what will be the final answer of your question? Final answer would be 49, simply add the whole components, 49 whole 1 by 11 minutes. So, this will be the position of minute hand between 9 and 10 when the angle between the two hands is 0 degree. So, your complete answer would be 49 1 by 11 minutes past 9 o'clock. Right? So, whichever option says this, mark it and move forward. So, with this, we have come to the end of second lecture where I discussed only one condition today. That is the overlapping one. There are other conditions too which I want to discuss with you but in the upcoming lectures. As far as the concepts are concerned, we have covered everything. So, that is all. Thank you and take care.